I identify myself as a human being. Why do you then identify myself? That's a big question, actually. Uh, when I'm with straight people, I also, uh, uh, often say I'm a dyke because it's simple to explain. But uh, when I'm with uh, LGBT people, I prefer to say I, like I'm between dyke and transgender. I don't feel really queer. I mean, I think that I'm very okay with my gay identity. Here in the university, yeah. it's very nice because all the people is different and every people is how they feel, how they want to be, and no, nobody judges you, so you can be the way you want to be, and it's very nice. I'm kind of confused with how I identify myself, but I think that that confusion could be productive. I identify myself um, more or less like a, a dyke, but uh, I think my sexuality is more complicated than that. And maybe I'm a faggot too, or maybe I'm trans. Uh, I, I depends on the weather. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's complicated, always it is, with identity. Lesbian, anarchist, Arabic, French. And mostly world citizen, but revolutionary world citizen. I'm a woman, uh, and I'm a lesbian, and I don't identify myself as being butch or femme, because I think that's um, just one way to relate to the heteronormative society. I'm a PD, which could be translated like I'm a faggot. I identify myself as a man, as a man who has the freedom to love other men. For me, I would probably just say that I'm an individual. That's it. I'm gay. I'm proud and gay to be gay. I identify myself as a faggot. Yeah, PD in French. I identify myself as a gay man. So for me, I think the identity issue is a concept a little problematic because not we are not only one thing. We are many identities. Or identify as lesbian and many other things but <laughs> that's one of them female lesbian educator human rights activist I am aware of the fact that queer could be, too, a way of colonized homosexual, lesbian, transgender people outside of Western countries. So I suppose being queer means being against uh, oppression in general. Queer is like, I, I, I'm not in the norm, but 
Anything can be my norm. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Queer. I like to focus on that funny, in the funny things that you can analyze and queer is just like weird <laughs> sometimes, you know, so yeah, I feel I could define myself like queer. I don't know what it means, simply. Well, uh, I'm kind of uh, in struggle with the queers because, well, I have a point of view that is really strange, huh? I'm a bit um, um, conflictuous. Because for me, queer uh, theory and Janet Butler was born this queer theory to destroy uh, the radical feminism. I think that queer is just like a big umbrella that can fit all over the LGBTs. Being queer is questioning the norms and, and this is not just about everyday life, it's also about how this norm work on a political level. Queer, queer means for me the possibility to be uh, whatever you want to be. Uh, queer uh, to me means without being without categories, thinking and acting out of the box. <laughs> queer would be maybe um, this um, idealistic way of life where um, we all kind of link together around kind of revolution idea of uh, a hetero knowledge, I don't know if you say that so far, mm -hmm. mainstream, I think, yeah, that's must be. It's also connected to freedom, so it can be, you don't, you don't need to label yourself, so if you feel queer, it's like, you feel free to be whatever you want. Not to put someone into a box of either being heterosexual or gay or bisexual, but that people can identify themselves uh, out of their individuality and that you don't ask them, are you gay or are you a lesbian or a heterosexual? Just let them be themselves. Over here, I learned that uh, queer means that you will not defy yourself. And in a way, I find that sometimes very confusing because I don't want to offend anybody. And it's hard to actually know the correct way to address people because I'm always afraid that I will say the, the wrong gender or even use a gender. And when and in times it's not necessary or th that they don't want to do. So confusing. But hey, that's what it said about homosexuality well hundred years ago as well. It's a word that is mostly used by academics. That word we studies and that's not a word that we would use to define ourselves. Well myself. A queer is a person who does not like any labeling, limiting of sexual identity or gender orientation and uh, encompasses or is, feels part of the all-encompassing uh, sexual spectrum. concept queer is a concept a uh, little uh, liquid uh, queer for me means flexibility of gender identities and sexual identities. It, it's, it's fluid. Queer means to me um, that you don't know exactly what you are and you don't want to identify with you, like with something special. So um, it's like queer. Everything that is out of norms. Thank you.